What's up my brothers and my sisters from another mystic. So today we're gonna talk about nine mind-blowing life lessons from the Netflix series Wednesday. Don't be scared and don't be weenie. Watch the entire video. We got Wednesday Adams as our tour guide. Real quick, if you didn't know, the story is of a girl named Wednesday Adams from the Adams family. She was an outcast. She was expelled from nine schools for dealing with bullies. <laughs> well, I support her for that. I'm a fan. What do you expect? She was stopping bullies. Who doesn't love that? Wednesday was taken to Nevermore Academy, a school for the outcasts. The outcasts are people considered weird, abnormal, or non-human. They have vampires, wolves, sirens, gorgons, shapeshifters, sidekicks, hides, and more. You can agree they are abnormal indeed, or should I say, non-human. Though this is an entertaining masterpiece, I want to share with you nine lessons from the series. Lesson number one, be yourself and never let anyone define you. If there is one thing I love about Wednesday, it's her inability to care about what people say about her. No matter what people say about her and how they try to hurt her and make her change, she wouldn't let any of that get to her. Do you know how great it would be if you could care less about what people think and say of you? We don't care. Never let anyone define you because they don't know how you feel and they don't know anything about you. Never let them define you. If they call you weird, ignore them, own it, whatever. It's cool being weird. It's cool being different. I'm different. Number two, there is more to what you think you know. If Wednesday never went to Nevermore, she would have never discovered many things about her parents and bloodline. She wouldn't have known Goody Adams, the ancient witch in her bloodline. She found out that her father was convicted of murder. She also discovered that she was destined to save Nevermore from doom, according to a prophecy. Don't assume you know everything. There are hidden secrets you don't know. Secrets like zombies, they never truly die, you know. <laughs> Anyways. Lesson number three, never judge too quickly. There are times Wednesday got things wrong. She thought her father was a killer until she discovered the truth. She thought Xavier was the hide monster killing people. Wednesday also thought Dr. Kinbot was the one controlling the hide. She got many things wrong and became a problem for her and the people around her. You must be careful before you pass judgment on someone. When you speak words, you can never take them back. Be mindful of what you say to people. Be sure what you know is the truth before you spit it out. If you judge wrongly, you would destroy many things, including family and friends. Number four, self-interest leads to corruption and lies. The mayor of Jericho was a self-centered person who would put his interests first. He covered many secrets because of his position, and Principal Weems was also in the same boat as the mayor. They are self-centered people. When selfish and greedy people get to the position of power, corruption is inevitable. Doesn't that sound a little bit too relatable right now? <laughs> Anyways, they don't care about the people. Still on self-centered people, number five, selfish people will always hide in darkness and hate anyone who dares to bring them into light. When the mayor was close to revealing the truth about the Gates family, he was silenced. Evil people will never love anyone who wants to expose them. There are stories of people getting killed for trying to expose dark secrets. If you try to say the truth, people will hate you, which leads to lesson number six. Speak the truth as it is and never add to it. Because Wednesday did not care about what people said of her or to her, she never hid the truth. She was not afraid to speak the truth regardless of the person she faced. I know it might be difficult, but do you know it's harder to tell lies because you have to keep creating more lies to cover the other lies and keeping up with those lies? When you lie to people just because you're afraid, in the end, you will get what you're scared of. For instance, if you lie so that your relationship will not end, it will end. If you tell lies to get something, you will lose everything in the end. Point of the story is speak the truth as it is and never add to it. People may not like you for it, but at the very least, they will respect you for it. Lesson number seven, don't take love from genuine friends for granted. Don't use them. Wednesday used her friends at every chance. She never cared if they would die or not. She was selfish and had no regard for their love and care. She lost her friend Enid. No, I didn't mean Enid died, she did it. Enid moved out the room and left Wednesday to be alone. And for the first time, Wednesday felt weird being alone. Some genuine friends will love you for who you are. They don't care if you're weird and they don't care if you're a freak. Hey, you know what I mean. They will always love you. Don't lose friends because they are always hard to come by. When they go, you will regret you used them or never appreciate their genuine love. The next lesson is a big one. But before I reveal the final lesson, I'm an author of four books, link in description. You must have heard it from people. Please follow and that is trust no one. Yes, never trust anyone, but you could trust God though. As hard as it might be to take in, please do not trust anyone, at least not so quickly. 
Wednesday learned a bitter lesson never to trust anyone. The boy she trusted was a monster. Do you know how it feels for someone to frustrate your efforts and still deceive you? Some people are not to be trusted and knowing who to trust is very hard to tell. Everyone is looking out for themselves. There are monsters out there in the world looking for people to kill. They will come as a sheep to take you away and then destroy you. They will deceive you if you do not open your mind and eyes. Don't just trust everything you see or hear. Don't accept everything. Many things can and will mislead you. Trust no one. The last lesson from Wednesday is a motivation to everyone out there that are struggling daily. Lesson number nine, don't give up. Please don't give up. After I finished the series, I said what a stubborn and focused girl Wednesday is. She was frustrated many times. The sheriff didn't trust her. She saw Rowan killed by the monster, but no one believed her. Principal Weems expelled her. She could have left the case unsolved, but she tried for the last time. Wednesday taught me that I should never give up. Even if people call me crazy, I will not give up. If they say I'm joking around, I will still not give up. In the end, only those who do not give up will be rewarded. Please don't give up. Keep doing what you're doing and stay focused. Stay the course. What you do in the dark will come to light. And that comes to the end of this video. What'd you guys think of the video? Comment below, let me know. If you have not seen this Netflix series, you might wanna go check it out. It is gangster in my opinion. Moving out of Nevermore Academy. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you like the content we're throwing up and turn on the notification if you want more content like this. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.